Kimberley residents will be without water from today until Sunday. The Salt Plaiki municipality says they are dealing with maintenance issues and growing water leaks. Residents are encouraged to fill up and make plans for water supply until the supply resumes. It seems the upgrades are a yearly occurrence for residents in the Diamond City. For more, let's cross over to our reporter, Reginald Vitboy in Kimberley. So, Reginald, a bit of a tough time ahead for uh, residents in that area. Talk to us about provisions that have been made and how many people are we looking at being affected? Well, a very good morning to you, Lane, and also to our viewers as well. When it's not ESCOM with its rolling blackouts, then it's water cuts um, being experienced here uh, by people in the Diamond City, a city that once sparkled. And we also know that residents are, are frustrated by this because it's a yearly occurrence where the municipality says uh, they need to upgrade the infrastructure. And the constant reaction that we are getting from the Sopalaki municipality is because of the influx of, of people into, into the city. Now, I also need to mention this Sopalaki municipality is the same municipality that owes the power utility, ESCOM, over 470 million rand in outstanding debt. So um, for the next three days, people will be experiencing um, rolling blackouts. That's now if ESCOM is going to send out statement regretfully once again, and then um, also water uh, cuts here in Kimberley for the next three days. But many times it's more than three days. But to Tell us more about this and why they need to do this yet again, because last year, just in November, um, they also worked on the infrastructure. I am now joined by Toko Reed, and she is the Soplaiki Municipal um, Spokesperson. A very good morning, Toko, and thank you for joining us. Just uh, why is the Soplaiki Municipality yet again um, looking at the maintenance of, of, of its infrastructure? Thank you, Reggie, and good morning, and thank you for having me. Um, uh, we are working on the water lines. We are having a severe water leakage. Uh, the water lines from Riverton to Kimberley are having severe leakage. We are working on three main water, leak water leakages. We are working on the Hoha, which is having a severe leakage from the, the, from the water main line, which is having an impact on the three, on the R31, which is from the from the R31 to the Batley Batley West, which is currently closed, as you may know, and then we are working on the Hoha, which is having an impact on the R31, which is currently closed to the Batley West Road, and then we are working on the Drisai behind the Drisai uh, military base camp, and then we are working also on the 600 main line, which is where we are currently, as you can see. I'm not sure if the cameraman can actually see where we are now which is also a, a main leakage. So we are working on, 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 on very severe leakages where we are now. And then also in terms of costs, how much will this uh, exercise cost us? I cannot put costs on, but we're working on, uh, on, on, on billions of leakages as I'm talking to you. Also, what should residents do in the meantime? Um, we, are, we are urging on, 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 resi on residents to we we working on on uh, on uh, on what what was your question again? What should residents do in the meantime? We are working on mobile, not mobile, water water mobile mobile. Uh, what is this? Tankers. Tankers. Yes, we are working on mobile tankers, and we are working on Georgia's as well. Mo uh, residents are assured that. Mobile tankers and Georgia's will be supplied. For, in the past, we had, we had vandalism, and then we had uh, um, vandalism as well. So we are at the subs police stations. We'll be having uh, Georgia's there, and then residents can be assured the mobile water, water tankers will be roaming around in all woods. Okay, just one last question. Um, Eskom says you are owing them over 470 million rand. Have you made an arrangement with them? We had a meeting on Monday. Our CFO had a meeting on Monday with, with ESCOM together with the MEC of Cockstar on Monday. So they had a, a successful meeting on that. So we, had, we don't have the outcome of that. We'll, we'll, we'll communicate on that one. 
Thank you so much, Toko um, Well, and that was Toko Reed, and she's a Sopalaki municipal spokesperson telling us about the water cuts for the next three days, um, saying that water tankers will be uh, provided and uh, there will be enough water to service the whole of of Kimberley also saying that uh, they need to to work on the infrastructure of the Salt Lake municipality. Also on that ESCOM, um, owing um, they owing owing them 400 uh, over 470 million rand. They had a meeting with ESCOM, but we will be monitoring the situation for the next three days, and we will be keeping our viewers up to date on Can the I situation here in 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 Kimberley. Can I also communicate that we will be shutting down the water interruption at 6 p.m. tonight this evening and residents are urged to 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 make maintenance that they should sub to make maintain to make to make plans that water will be shut down at 6 p.m. tonight and make provision for water in the meantime up until Sunday. Thank you very much. Well, that was the great plan. All right. Thanks very much. Uh, thanks very much for that, uh, Reginald, just giving residents an update on that water supply in the area.